Hello students, welcome to chemistry sessions. So today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is Markovnikov's rule, anti-Markovnikov's rule. So basically this topic again very very important I would say because in the CBS it comes very frequently in IITJ during the conversions of organic chemistry during the mechanisms this particular topic is very much applied also in NEAT. So no escaping from this topic at all right. So let us start with this topic and I am going to give you a brief about it right not a detailed manner. Some of the key points we will discuss over here. So Markovnikov's rule the name of the scientist who discovered it. Now basically what happens in the Markovnikov's rule always remember two very most important things in this. So Markovnikov rule as it happens in the dark, as it happens in the absence of peroxides, right? Any kind of peroxide you can take and usually the benzoyl peroxide is taken, right? But here Markovnikov always remember it occurs in the absence of peroxide. Now what happens in the Markovnikov's rule? First thing that if you can see, if you can analyze this particular reaction there is propene, right? It happens in the case of alkenes and HBr is added to it. What will happen? Now there will be a shifting of these pi bonds, right? Pi bonds nothing but the electrons. They keep on shifting, the electron cloud keep on shifting from one carbon to the another and it will shift in such a manner that this bromine gets attached in the middle of the carbon or I can say the carbon having less number of hydrogen atoms. Bromine gets attached to <coughs> carbon having least H atom around double bond right this is one particular thing you have to remember or in the books you might have seen there is written to be less substitution or more substitution now what does that mean here if you can see more of the hydrogens on this particular carbon means less substituted less of the hydrogen means more substituted that means other than hydrogen the other substitutions are more right so what I can say over here in this case is having least hydrogen atoms or more substitutions you know what I mean by more substitutions means other than hydrogen atoms what all groups are substituted right substitutions clear okay that is one particular thing Second, always remember in the case of Markovnikov's rule, there is the formation of carbocation. So it proceeds with the formation of carbocations, right? Now since it proceeds with the formation of the carbocation, so obviously I can say that tertiary will be more stable than secondary and then primary carbocation, right? So let us discuss this reaction and you will get to know what I am saying. Now, so since it happens in the absence of peroxide, no role of peroxide is happens to be there, okay. Now what will happen, just the breaking of the HBr into H plus and Br negative, right. And the shifting of these pi bonds in such a manner that, now, shifting of the pi bonds in such a manner that the formation of a very stable carbocation occurs in that too, secondary in this case, obviously. Now secondary it occurs what will happen now br negative was generated and it got attached again to the carbon right see here this is the major product which is formed fine and also there is a possibility of formation of the minor product as well which is the other side right primary carbocation has the possibility of existence in this case but a very little possibility so here bromine gets attached to the primary one and this completes the Markovnikov's rule. Now, what about this HBr? Why not Hi? Why not HCl? Why not HF? You must be thinking, why only HBr in the halo acids I have taken? Because here Hi, HF and HCl, all the three will have an unfavorable reaction with such alkenes, right? Although the reaction happens but it is unfavorable, some of the steps are endothermic that means we have to provide heat. But here 
all the steps in case of HBR are exothermic. Exothermic means they always release a lot of energy and leads to stability. So basically this particular HBR gives a very stable product, very stable reaction and a very favorable reaction. That is why we prefer HBR in the Markovnikov's rule. Now moving on to the anti Markovnikov's rule where now in this case we prefer the peroxides, right? Anti Markovnikov's rule also known as peroxide effect, Kharash effect, right? Now again I have taken propene. Now what are the two key points you have to remember? First of all as I told you anti Markovnikov's rule happens to be in the presence of peroxide. So this is the benzoyl peroxide I have taken. Heating it what will happen now the mechanism does not take place via the formation of carbocation but the formation of free radicals. So I am just removing this and writing free radicals right. So here it occurs with the formation of free radicals and what else the bromine now does not get attached to the carbon having least hydrogen atom but carbon having more hydrogen atoms right. So not least but most hydrogen atom around the double bond always remember everything happens around the double bond not beyond that right. So basically it is going to be not more substituted but less substituted or less substitution I can say right. So these are the two keywords that you have to remember. Now why in this case it is just the opposite because there is the formation of free radicals. What is the stability of free radical? Could you tell me? Obviously it is 3 to 1. It would have been attached on the tertiary one right. But now what happens here? In this particular case if you see there is obviously the shifting of this electron clouds but in a free radical manner fine okay. Now this free radical obviously this will also be generated into a free radical manner. Now this bromine free radical can attach to these two free radicals right. If it gets attached to primary free radical now the final product will be a secondary free radical generated in the reaction right. You know what I am saying see here again I am repeating this bromine free radical will get attached to the primary one instead of the secondary one why because after getting attached to the primary one I have got a secondary free radical to be generated within the reaction and secondary is always an always stable one. So a little you know one step ahead of the carbocation mechanism here you have to think a little bit more fine. So basically it got attached to the primary one just in order to generate a secondary one which is more stable right. So that is how the mechanism takes place and finally the hydrogen gets attached in the middle obviously and finally we get this as the major product right. I hope everybody has got it. So these were some of the key points related to the Markovnikov's and anti Markovnikov's rule and also we have discussed a brief introduction about the mechanism. I hope everybody has understood. If you've got any doubts, you can always approach to me. Have a nice day.